What's up, guys? It's Wind Waker time again. Woo -woo. Hi, everybody. How's it going? I'm playing today. Uh, oh, so last you expect time... a lot of dilly dallying. Yeah, yeah pretty much. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm La sorry. Last time we got to Dragon Roost Island, and we got the Wind Waker. Yep. And yeah, we got a sail and all that stuff. So a, yeah, it was a fruitful episode. It was very fruitful. Now let's talk to some people. Must we? Oh, you're the fledgling, uh, the sheep chieftain mentioned, aren't you? I feel as though I should tell you, despite what may, he may seem like right now, young Master Kamali is quite a pleasant child. His father, the chieftain, is quite busy, but Kamali's never once complained. Though I'm sure he's been lonely at times. He's the chieftain's son through and through. Whoa. However, his grandmother passed recently, and Kamali seems lost. His That's confidence sad. is gone. His grandmother was always with him, you see. A great, great woman. Why is that? That sparkling ball that the young master keeps with him was actually a gift from the great Valu to gr Kamali's grandmother. That's how tiny his feet are. Who? That bird dude. Let's see. Yeah, look at him! How does he even balance, you know? I know, that's what I want to know. It reminds me of, um, Fire Emblem Awakening. Mm, I haven't played it, so... They've got tiny feet. If you want to go to Dragon Roost Cavern, I've got some bad news for you. The bridge is out. There's no way to even get inside. I'm sure you'll understand once you see if you've seen it for yourself. As for swimming across, well, you need water for that, and the pond's all dried up. No need to panic, though. I'm sure the chieftain will think of something. Or Link will. Or Link will, because Link's a badass. Alright, let's try to find Medley. Uh, well, actually, let's go see the sun first. Because I think he's right down here. Come okay, Ollie. for some reason I thought we had to see Medley first, though, didn't we? I don't know, let's just go we'll here. We'll talk to him and see what he says. Let's see what he says. It's already here. Do you want to be this dude? Look at him! Sure. Let's see what he says. He's tiny. I know. That's what she said. <laughs> Huh? Who are you supposed to be? My go-to voice. What do you want from me, huh? I don't want to talk to anyone right now. Okay, obviously that's not gonna work. Mopey, mopey emo kid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Everything's you, a song. Were you a mopey emo kid? No. I was no. a happy child. I was a bit mopey. I was I'm, a shy child, but a happy child. I wouldn't say I was an emo kid, though. Are we talking kid or teen here? Because we all know... You were an emo teen. I was not an emo teen. You were an emo teen. Get out of here. How do you know? Based on everything you've said. I wasn't emo. You were Definitely emo. wasn't emo. You no. weren't part of the emo subculture, but you were the emo ideal. So, no, I... <laughs> no, I wasn't. I <laughs> I'm refused. sorry. I, I didn't have the emo aesthetic. I hated the emo music. Uh, I The emo kids were really annoying. And here's the difference between emo kids and kids who actually are having problems. Emo kids like to pretend that they have problems. And people who actually have problems aren't, like, you know, anyway. Firstly, I just like messing with you. Well, you, you got on my goat. Good job. <laughs> Secondly, but, I don't think that subculture even exists anymore. Yeah, that was an early 2000s thing. Hey, I know you, yeah. You're the adventure guy, sailing from island to island. Action, excitement, right? So with the adventuring you do, did you happen to find a golden feather? My nope. girlfriend, she's wanted one of those things for the longest time. And actually, I kind of promised that I'd send one to her. For the longest Did we have- time. didn't we have a golden feather? I don't know. I mean, I'm gonna look here. Um... I have a book! I'm walking and reading that book at the same time. Uh... <coughs> I thought we had a golden feather, dude. Nope! I guess not. Whoops. Just keep that in mind if we ever get one. For the longest okay, time. Okay, uh, let's go here. There's Medley! What a cutie pie. Oh, you yeah. go- Go ahead, you got this. Whoa, you- uh, rather, okay, <clears throat> start again, start again. Okay. Whoa, you really do have green clothes and a, a strange shaped hat. <laughs> You're a Rob Cho, aren't you? <laughs> oh, me, I'm an attendant to the great Sky Spirit Valu. My name is Medley. <laughs> well, to tell you the truth, I'm not an attendant quite yet. I'm actually still studying to be one. She's cute. Oh, what am I thinking here? This is from the chieftain. Rob Cho, he wants you to give us directly... Give this directly to Prince Kamali. I'm cute. <laughs> I shouldn't cosplay her specifically. You accepted father's letter. It is a letter from a father addressed to his son. Since you've just received a fine delivery bag, why not use it to carry this letter down to, to, to Kamali? When you want to take it out, choose your blah blah blah. Okay, I know this. The room... Or... <laughs> the room way back on the first floor is Prince Kamali's room. You have to go down a couple of steps to get there. When you meet Pri Prince Kamali, please don't get offended by his manner. He has no bad intentions, I promise. Um, by the way, uh, listen, Rob Chill. 
I have a small favor I'd like to ask of you. Could you please come to the entrance of the Dragon Roost Cavern later? Whoa, a tryst. I'll explain everything <laughs> then. Whoa. Make out sesh. Yeah, no kidding. Hopefully the beak doesn't get in the way. Um, but yeah, what? wouldn't it um be cool to cosplay as her? Oh, it'd be awesome. I guess it's to be expected in this heat, but just take a look down there. Dragon Roost Pond is completely dried up. Oh no. Yeah, that sucks. Oh no, to quote Harry. Oh no! Uh, Harry. Like, I could easily do that cosplay. Okay. Dye my flesh gray. Put my hair in a ponytail. Dye your flesh gray? Is that what you said? <laughs> ah, I didn't mean to jump down. I wanted to go back up. Hold on, sorry. Sorry, everybody. I honestly genuinely want to do it. Do it. I mean, obviously, our next cosplay has to be uh, Dracula and Alucard, but after yeah, that... Yeah, you, you'll look great as Alucard. Maybe that'll be my next cosplay after that. When you that. meet the young Master Kamali, ask him about the ball he's carrying. That might just help break the ice. It's a shame that I'm too busy to spend more time with you. You seem to be a nice enough fellow. Sorry. Uh, it's a shame that Link is mute. Otherwise, he would be able to bring that up first. Well, now, I have not seen your young face before. Nope, don't believe so. Hmm? Mm. Tiny beak. You wouldn't be here in response to our posting for some part-time help, would you? Sure, why not? Oh, actually, that's good, but first, if you... Let's see if you could use you or not. I need you to give a little t test, just a small one. Match the seal on the envelope with the same icon on the shelf and throw the letter onto the shelf. Really easy. Simple. Use blah... Use mm. Blah, blah, blah. Use mm to select a shelf and press mm to throw a letter. Like I said, simple. Is that clear? Yeah, sure, we got it. Four times it runs out, you have to store at least ten letters. Give it your best shot. Okay. Why is Link taking on a part-time job when he's, like, clearly not gonna stay on this island? Like, how irresponsible. Why not? This guy's gonna be like, oh man, I finally got some hired help around here. <laughs> Wait a minute, where'd he go? He just disappeared. You know you're old when... He didn't even put in a, lesser, a letter of resignation. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> life is... Life has hardened me. Yeah. I no longer have the innocence of youth. You, look at you, you champion. I got 20 of them. You want a 10? 20 letters. Great. Good. Terrific. You pass. Okay, you get one rupee for every two letters, so that comes to a grand total of 10 rupees. Am I right? Come back anytime. I mean it. Anytime. The more letters you sort, the more you'll earn. Not a bad deal for both of us. I wish getting a job was that easy. I know. And then you could just finish it that easily? Yep. <laughs> then you can just go around breaking people's personal property. Yeah, exactly. I mean, like, uh, there, there was a video I watched. It was like, people, like, protagonists in RPGs are douchebags or something oh, like no that. Oh, no question. <laughs> no question at all. Uh, it's so funny. Not even just RPGs and video games in general. Like, look at Mario. Yeah, Mario's kind of an ass, you oh, know? Oh, he totally is. Ooh, look at this area. Purdy. You want to be this, uh, I think it's Lady. Okay. Every year, the Rito sponsor a Birdman contest off that island off to the east. I wonder if we'll have one this year. What with the current situation on the island? No time to waste. Everyone's so busy with the Great Valu that we're running short of delivery personnel. It's a madhouse. It's a madhouse! A madhouse! <laughs> it's from Planet of the Apes. <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, back to work. There he goes. Or she. Get bye -bye. your filthy hands off me, you damn dirty ape! <laughs> you maniacs! They blew it up! <laughs> <laughs> I know I always reference this, but did you ever see the Planet of the Apes musical episode in The Simpsons? No. It was I, great. I'll have to. Oh my god, I was wrong. <laughs> it was Earth all along. Yeah. Etc. I'll stop. I get, that, was your, watched, that was your please stop doing that. No, no, I, I, I'd, watch the, uh, I'd watch that movie again. It's so it good. It's a good one. It's classic. This was you again. What do you want from me, huh? I, I don't want to talk right now. Unless you have the thing that I want to see. Oh, I gotta... From Medley. I gotta pull out the... the uh, make that R. Why is it not set to R? Hold on. Oh, pfft. What do you want me to do with that, huh? Take a selfie? <laughs> Hold on, why is it... Oh, there we go. Okay, got him. Okay, I figured it out. Sorry. A letter? From my father? 
He didn't want to take a selfie. I thought maybe because he looked like a millennial, so... <laughs> yeah. Oh, sure, telling me, he's bra uh, telling me to be brave is easy enough for him. It's not like he's the one who went through that horrible experience. It's not like he still has to get a scale from Valu. Humph, you're in this letter too, you know. Poking your nose into other people's business. You're nosy, aren't you? Well, I think you're more nosy. You have quite a nice beak there, dude. That, I didn't mean that literally. <laughs> Sorry, but I don't really feel like going to see Valu right now. I mean, how am I supposed to get a scale from him when he's so upset? What? Are you trying to say that you can calm Valu down? Psh, that's just a big fat lie. It's easy to say you can do anything. Bragging doesn't cost a thing. Wow. What a dirtbag. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if you can find me someone who can get past all the obstacles on Dragon Roost to get to Valu, then I'll listen to anything you say. Jeez. What a diva. What a, what a whiny baby. What? Oh, this? It's strange. Holding this calms me down. I forget all the bad things. It's so pretty, isn't it? It's called Din's Pearl. My grandma gave it to me. Now Link just has to, like, punch the kid and take Din's Pearl. <laughs> My or stab him. Whoa. <laughs> My grandma used to be Valu's attendant. She was the only person on the island who understood Valu's language. Oh, Grandma. If she were here, I know she could calm Valu down. I just know it. But my father and the rest, no matter how hard they try, they fail. I know it. No one else can calm Valu down. It's impossible. <laughs> what? What is it, huh? Listen, you can stare all you want, but I'm not giving this to you. This is my treasure, you understand? I'm not just gonna hand it over to some do-nothing guy, am I? Wow. God, this kid. I feel bad for him. He's obviously angsting because of his grandmother, you know? Like, he's he he's lashing his, out. And how's he gonna get his wings? Well, yeah, that's that's a thing. I mean, you could drink Red Bull. Okay, I'm sorry. Li oh my God, Link's just gotta Link's gotta like save the day as always. Link, un I think Link understands that he's just like you know, Kamali is just lashing out. You know, that's all. Yep, Link will save the day. <laughs> Go to save the, the Princess, Princess Zelda. <laughs> Ganon took her away. Now the children don't play, but they will when Link saves the day. Hallelujah. Okay, where where's Medley? Didn't she say to do it at a particular time? Let's see. Go back to the room and see where she was. Can you pick those bomb shoes up? Nope. Let's see let's see what happens. In high school, there was like an air band competition. Mm hmm And my friends some of my friends like acted out that song. Like they performed it. That's amazing. Isn't that so weird? <laughs> now, Link, fill up your hearts so you can shoot. Your sword with power. And my librarian, my school librarian, air abandoned the song Gold Digger by Kanye West, which oh is like God. so cringy. That's really cringy. <laughs> Why were the early 2000s so shitty for music? Well, we, that was the mid 2000s. Mid Let's not make ourselves even older. Well, mid 2000s still was shitty for music. Okay. I don't know. We already talked to this dude. Oh, hello. So wait a second, where did Medley go? She wasn't in her room. You know what I, I think about? Part. Your pots, Rito, fuck them. Alright. <laughs> that, that was rude. It was. So, wait, I, I don't understand where I'm supposed to go now. Go to, like, where she was previously. Go that, right. That's where she was. Oh, uh, didn't she say to meet you at a particular time? I don't think so. I don't think there's, like, a time element like there is in Majora's Mask in this game. Obviously, I know that. Well Sorry done. for the burp, everyone. Rachel, Rachel just ate, like, a big burger. I ate the Impossible Burger from Boga King. From Boiga King. Boiga King. It was good. He's a tasty boy. Again. Oh, wait a second. I remember this. I don't see her there. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Check this out. Oh, you're changing the winds? The, these appear to be markers that indicate specific directions. Okay. Uh. Oh, whoops. Where's the... Oh, okay. Here we go. Up, left, right. Oh. I love the sound of it. Got him. Here we go. I forgot about this. There's like kind of no indication of it, but you learned the wind's requiem. Yay. Oh, cool. We can make the wind blow a different direction. Yep. Mm. Yep, that's a mighty nice breeze. Dear God, that voice. <laughs> oh, hi. The name's Zephos. I'm the god of winds. So you're the new wind waker, are you? Great, great. For a beginner, you've got a nice wind sense about you. I like you, kid. 
That tune you just picked up? Well, it gives you control over the direction of the wind blows. Depending on how it's used, wind can be a good thing, or a very bad thing. You want an example of it being a bad thing? Then you should see my brother. What a douche that guy is. It saddens me to say that my brother, Cyclos, is miffed about his mo uh, monument here being broken. And now he spends his time creating cyclones to torment people with. Poor Cyclos. So if you encounter any cyclones at sea, chastise my brother for me, will ya? Yep. And that is my request for you. <laughs> Your character's hilarious. I love that character. There's so many, um, uh, just iconic characters in this game. Is that a... What the heck was that? It was just a little crustacean. Hey, check it out. It's the, uh, it's the boat again. Let's see what he's up to. And by the boat, I mean... Boat and steam. Oh. The island has been a calm and peaceful place for as long as I have known it. What could have happened to it? Okay, so he's got no information. So, where the fudge sickle is meant I know. We're gonna climb up this again, guys. Because that's what I do. But at least I got the cool little, um... I mean, getting the Wind's, the wind's Requiem, Requiem was important. It was, yeah. I definitely had to get the Wind's Requiem. It's a... Uh, it's a cool little tune. The Wind's Requiem? It's a good one. I would like to uh, get a Wind Waker. You should do that. I already have an Ocarina. Between the two of us guys, we have to, we both have Ocarinas. I have um, Saria's Ocarina. And I have the Ocarina of Time. You what? say Saria? I have to call it Saria's. I wonder, like, I can't even remember when or where I bought that or why. I forget why I bought mine, too, to be Didn't honest. Did you buy yours for your Link cosplay? No, it was for something else. Oh. Like, how did I end up with Saria's of all, all the Ocarinas? Like, it's kind of cool. I definitely think it's, like, it's a little different. You know, you don't see that very often. Oh, yeah. But, I just don't remember why I bought it. Oh, you know who I might have to see? Is Kamali's father up here somewhere? Let's see. I had a dream where I played, like, a really well-made ocarina, and it was really in tune. Really? I just remembered that. And then I played one that was made out of, like, silicone, and it was really not in tune. <laughs> <laughs> what a random dream to have. It was really weird. I also had a dream the other day where, like, there was this plastic bag that was sealed, and there was a bunch of, like, creatures, like, scraping to get out. And I opened the bag, and it had been, like, it was, like, a bunch of rats who were suffocating. Mm -hmm. It was sad. And then I tried to save them. Really random. And there was, like, a bunch of baby birds, and I was trying to, like, rush them off to this, like, watery area, and some of them were, like, getting hit and stuff. Uh, Azure from Off Island, allow me to tell you about the Dragon Roost. Even in the best of times, dangerous place with all those bomb flowers growing everywhere. And now it's even more perilous. It's, just, it's so bad that the bomb flowers themselves have all dried up. The great and wonderful Valu has created quite a mess. So maybe now that I have the wind, like, Requiem, I don't... I could do something with that. I'll try. Let's see. Yeah, it changed the direction of the wind, I guess. Oh, wait. Oh, yes, maybe... There she is. I, be I probably had to get the wind's Requiem before I, she was around. Look at that little patootie. Hi! Hey, you actually came! I'm really sorry for bringing you to such a dangerous place. I had to. I wouldn't have asked if I didn't need help desperately. You see this place? There used to be a spring here, surrounded by a beautiful pond. It was peaceful and lovely. But then the great Falu, he became so angry and... Aww. In his rage, he shook the mountain and this boulder crashed down, plugging the spring. You can see the result. But where is my mind? Tell me, how is Prince Kamali? Uh, he was kind of a douche. <laughs> oh, that doesn't sound right, not at all. <laughs> I may be partially to blame for the bad turning that Kamali, that Prince Kamali's taken. It's not your fault, you're such a sweetie. Thank you. See, Prince Kamali's <laughs> grandmother was the great Falu's former attendant. She was an amazing woman. I was honored to have her as my teacher. She was kind and brave, uh, and unsurpassed in her dealings with the great Falu. I'm not yet worthy of being mentioned in the same breath as her. If only I'd possessed some of her strength, I'm sure Prince Kamali would have felt more secure. Rob, well, I'm sorry to ask this, but I need your help. I want to go to the small shrine that's near the peak of Dragon Roost, but that ledge over there is so high. If I could get some wind under my wings, I'm sure I could get up there. So, will you help me? Sure. Ooh, thank you so much. 
Okay, pick me up. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> then face that ledge and toss me. You have to toss me. <laughs> the atmosphere, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> the atmosphere currents are really messed up, so pay close attention to the direction of the wind. All right, I'm ready. Don't hold back now. Throw me as hard as you can. Okay, don't worry. I've got, I've got this. I'm gonna make our lives easier. She's popping a squat. I actually remember this very clearly. Good on you. Okay. We want... Doo -doo 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 -doo. That's the direction we want the wind. You throw me! Okay, ready, set. Yay! Oh, just missed. Almost! Oh, oh I feel no. bad. I I'm fine. That, <laughs> that didn't really hurt. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, w once once more with the wind. Toss away, please. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Okay, all let's try from here. Oof, oh, God. Really? Whoa. My, what beautiful stars. Twinkle, twinkle. <laughs> <laughs> Where were we? Oh, yeah, once, once more. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> That's kind of funny, but I feel bad for her. Poor Medley. Where do you think, from here? Oh, come on! Why is she missing? I honestly don't know, my dude. Can you walk up to, like, the... Like, when did the you ledge? become triplets? I'm five, I mean, file five. Oh my god, she's like, she's becoming... Like, can you walk... Oh, wait, walk up to that ledge there. Go, turn around. Like, go up that. And That's a good go idea. La, 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 la. It seems far away, but you never know. Yeah. There she is, got him. Good job, buddy. Oh, thank you. I think I'll be able to climb Dragon Roost to meet with the Great Falu. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I may just be an apprentice assistant attendant, but I can understand some of the Great Falu's language. I'm not exactly bursting with confidence, but... <laughs> Look, if anything happens to me, please look after Prince Kamali. This is all I have to give. I know it's not much, but please take it. We're definitely following you. And I got an empty bottle. Oh, well, I know what I'm gonna do, yeah. Oh, and please don't tell anyone that I'm climbing Dragon Roost. It'll be our secret, okay? Uh, no. Well, good luck, dot dot dot, to the both of us. Well, don't worry. I'm coming right after you. Because you need help. What are you gonna do by taking that water? I'll show you exactly what I'm gonna do. And you're gonna be all impressed with me. La 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 We're gonna go help Medley. Gonna go help Medley, gonna help Medley. Once again, everything must be a song. Oh, you're gonna cool off one of those bomb flowers. Yeah, and then I'm gonna throw it at that and I'm gonna unplug the... Look at you, you smart cookie. I try. You're the I smartest just... cookie that has, Got has ever been a cookie. I'm a cookie. What kind of cookie would you be? Oh, man. That's ass. What kind of cookie would you be if you could be a cookie? Oh, God. Uh, I like ginger snaps a lot. Oh, come on. I gotta get it to... Really? You think you'd be a ginger snap? I disagree. Got him. I feel like you'd be a chocolate chip cookie. A chocolate chip? Tell me why a chocolate Actually, chip Actually, no. Cookie. You'd be a white chocolate macadamia nut. I hate white chocolate, so no. Okay, you would be a chocolate chip, chip cookie with raisins. No, that sounds terrible. Okay, you would be, uh... See, I want to say chocolate chip cookie because they're my favorite. <laughs> they're also just, like, kind of generic, and you're not. Yeah. So. I don't know what kind. I'd be an Oreo. You'd be a chocolate chunk cookie. No, Oreos suck. I thought you liked Oreos. I only really eat them because they're, like, something I can eat, but I don't love them. Hmm. I think they're overrated. Look at this. Look at this. We got a cross, because I'm a genius. You got a cross? Like... <laughs> The one Jesus died on? <laughs> no, not that one. I made it funny. Throw the things in the jar. Oh, yeah, you're right. See, at least you're... Now you're a genius, too. What kind of cookie would I be if I could be a cookie? What kind of cookie would you be if you were a cookie? Yeah. Uh... Let me, I gotta think about that. Or what kind of dessert would I be if I was a dessert? Let's just ask that question. Ouch! I want Link to be like, ha 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 ha! You would obviously be a slice of... Cherry pie. Oh, it really took me all the way back here. Come on now. I'd be a slice of cherry pie. Yeah. I could see that. That makes sense. Cause you're a little tart. And then you, and then you'd be, then you'd be going, he's my cherry pie. You know yep. that song? 
Yes, I love so that song. The song's so stupid. It's stupid, but great. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna- I've got another skill testing question for you. Go ahead. Not really skill testing, like a getting to know you question. If you could be a car, what type of car would you be? Oh, I don't know. I'd be a very simple- I'd be a- I'd be a, uh, Saturn. I'd be a Hyundai Accent. <laughs> yeah. You'd be a Yaris. Fun fact, I drive a Hyundai Accent. And I drive a Hyundai Accent as well. Dragon Roost Cavern. But you used to have a Saturn. Yes, that I loved. We made it. Look at the- look at us, guys. We made it. I'm proud of us. When we did I, it, team. So when I was in high school, I had a friend that had a Pontiac Sunfire. Mm-hmm. And she was kind of my friend of me, like we didn't really, she kind of bugged me. And then I found out that her car had like the highest blow up rate of any car. Mm -hmm. And my friends and I thought it was like hilarious for some reason. <laughs> had the highest blow up rate? Yeah. So you're saying you wanted to spontaneously combust on her. I didn't really, but it was just kind of funny for some reason because I was a soulless teenager. Did you know that Hyundais have an unusual, um, an unusually high rate of the engine randomly lighting on fire. <laughs> really? Yep. And Nissan. That's really random. Uh, it's good to know, though, that we, you know, we could be driving one day to Canada and then... Yeah. I'm sure we'll be fine. <sighs> I hope so. I, th I think Nissan's owned by Hyund Hyundai, isn't it? Uh... I don't know. You should I should light those torches. Yeah, I, yeah, I definitely should. Uh... I don't really know, to be honest. I don't know much about cars. I'm pretty sure that is the, the way of it. Yeah. Oops. Ah. Uh, okay. Let's do this. Okay. What other What other getting to know you questions should we do? Uh. Well, I know you, so unless the audience wants to know us. Well, I didn't know what type of cookie you'd be, so like. Oh, true. I I don't I couldn't even answer you about the cookie thing. Which Star Wars character do you most identify with? Me. Yeah. Uh, Palpatine. Palpatine. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I most identify with Salacious Crumb. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> salacious Crumb. He's what? this like creepy, like gremlin creature that lays on Jabba the Hutt. For oh, I know who he is. I was just saying what a, I was gonna say. What a random character. No, know? I was just talking to like I was telling it to the people who maybe don't know who he oh, is. Oh, you were exhibitioning? Is that what you were doing? Ooh. I was just explaining it to people who don't know who he is that are watching this Let's Play. Well, you were explaining, you know. Exactly. Got him. So we're in the cavern right now, guys. Woo! This reminds me of the area near the Fire Temple in Ocarina of Time. It's kind of dark, you know, there's just some random skulls here that are gonna go in the lava. Um... How would you feel if somebody threw your skull in the lava? I wouldn't really care, because I'd be dead AF. Really nilly You know what? Your ghost might be watching, though. That's okay. It'd be weird if we were ghosts when we died, you know? Yeah. I'd want to be like those ghosts from Mother 3. Where they just like sit around all day and they drink wine and play the piano. Wow, that sounds nice. <laughs> I like wine and the piano. Yeah, it's a really cool part of the game. I don't know if we, you and I ever got to that part or not. I don't think so. Did we get to the part with the egg? No. No? Okay. Sounds like I'm, a pretty sweet after. I really think I'm gonna play that game relatively soon on the channel. Maybe after I beat Final Fantasy. Why not do it with Walt? Yeah, I thought about it. Um, or maybe you should do it on your own, that way he's not committed to doing every part, like he could just yeah. come when he wants to. I would just really like to play that game at some point. La, 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 la. That was a cute little purple gust of clouds. Yeah. I like the the animations in this of the like, bombs blowing up. Mm -hmm. I remember this dungeon, by the way. Oh, I remember this. You, got th you throw it and it can... Oh, it like cools yeah. that particular chunk of earth. Yep, for like, a, like not that long. But Maybe you should uh, just use that one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, there's tons. Okay, you're good. Yeah, we're we're fine. I just want to get this chest. Okay, let's see what else I want to know about you. Okay, fire away. You, if you had to have hair that was not dark brown like yours is, uh -huh. dark brown slash black, whatever you want to call it. Uh huh. What color hair would you choose? Uh, probably red. Gingy? Probably I'd be a ginger, yeah. You rock the ginger? Because blonde is a bit generic, you know? And what other options are there, really? I would have purple hair. Oh, oh, so wait. I thought you meant, like, natural colors. Okay, if we're going natural color, I would go, like, um... I would choose, like, light brown. Like, that mousy brown color. Mm-hmm. Definitely I would choose that before red or blonde. I think I'd also just pick red because, like, that... 
seems like a likely color that my hair would have been at some point. Because I have red in my hair. Because so. you have a gingy uh, grandfather? Yeah, my grandpa had red hair. So. Yeah, dude. Got him. Eat it! Get out of here. Now, yeah, what if you could choose an unnatural color? Purple. Purple. Who wouldn't? Purple. purple or turquoise? Those would be my choices. Turquoise would be a bit extra, but I would do purple. Wait a minute. I had turquoise hair once. Well, it looks good on you, but it, would, it wouldn't look good on me. Or forest green. That'd be kind of cool. Like a deep green. I love the sound effects those make. It's They're hilarious. Yes. I gotta get a new job soon because I really want to dye my hair. Yeah, you should. If you worked at a library, you probably could... Yep, I oh, can well, get away with it. I got a red shoe jelly. The gelatinous goo comes from deep within red choo choos. It's effective as a cure for exhaustion. And it can't be used in its current state. Well, that sucks. Look at the giant uh, thing I found is, here. Is this just going to be a longer part or what? Yeah, I think so. We'll end it in a second, though. Because, um... Yeah, we're at a half hour already. Holy crap. Maybe we should re reach a natural breaking point in the dungeon or something. Okay. Check this out. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna get it. Wow, impressive. There we go. You did it. I had to. I remember this dungeon really well, actually. Cool. Which is kind of cool. Okay, so we came full circle, so now I can go in this way, since I have a key. Okay, then when we're done with this room, if this comes back to the main area, then we'll break, okay? Okay, it's gonna... I mean, when we restart the game, we're gonna have to... Oh, God! Yikes! Oh, no. That hurt. Oh, no. Please don't start me in the very beginning of the... Okay, good. Uh, but it's gonna start us in the very beginning of the temple when we come back, so... I know, that's kinda, kinda why I wanna have it at a point where we're gonna be in the main area anyway, you know what I mean? Yeah, true. So, what else do I wanna know about you? Let's see. You wanna know... Sorry, I'm asking those random Whoa. questions. Whoa! It got chaotic there for a second. Oh, let's ask again, who asked that question the other day, like... What nationality you would choose to be if you weren't the nationality that you are? I think was it Walt that asked that? I think it was Walt, yeah. Uh, what nationality would I be? Uh, oh god. Which nation would you choose to be from? I think it'd be cool to be from New Zealand. Yeah, New Zealand would be kind of sweet. Because they got great accents and it's a beautiful country. Oh, that guy fell and died. Um, yeah, New Zealand would be cool. Uh, I don't know. I think it'd be kind of cool to be from, like, one of the... I don't know, being Spanish would be kind of cool. Mm -hmm. But I don't need to be, because there's already a Spanish me, which is Takaran. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know? Does he complete you? Yes, he completes me. Like you never knew what was missing? Ooh, ooh he completes me. <laughs> okay, whoa. Alright, got... another question. It's the day of random questions. This might suck in a second. Why not wait it out? Oh, thank god. That was too close. Oof. Okay, I need some kind of bomb. Maybe from the top? Okay, let's go this way. Ugh. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. What, what's your question? Okay, so, um, maybe, can you jump on the side of that rock there? See the way there's like a little, uh, joint on the rock? Joint on the rock? Like, go to- look at the rock. The boulder. There's like a little step. Oh, there. I see. I see what you're. I see what you're driving at there. Okay. Okay. What else do I want to know about my friend here? Oh, I guess you can't do that. What do I want to know? <sighs> um, Let's see. How come I can't get over here? Um, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a dinosaur. <laughs> 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 That's what I want to do. Gotta love when kids say things like that. They're like, I want to be a king. Oh, I know what I gotta do. Hold on. I wanna be a princess. Have I ever complained to you about the princess thing? Uh, yes. You have. <laughs> I hate the princess thing. Like, the way girls aspire to be a princess, not a queen. Like, you know, like, so a princess who has, like, no power. But then you get to marry a prince and become a queen. Wow! Nobody ever thinks that part through, though. Come on. Maybe they do. How do you know that? Do you talk to everybody who wants to be a princess? Have you talked to every single person? Yes. The ones I don't know if this conversation is ridiculous. <laughs> okay, question the, the fifth. Whoa. What? 
Question the fifth, is that what you said? Yes. What, um... What, uh... Crap. Got him. What is the best thing about... America? Uh... Oh, hold on. <laughs> um... Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Rob Chol, have you seen any filthy thieving rats around? I know they are annoying, but keep your wits about you. They are only rats. If you spread bait near their nest, they may share their store of treasure with you. Why don't you try it? Hmm. Bait, huh? I don't have any bait, though, do I? Bait will probably make itself known. Yeah. I am unabated by this... This turn of events. Hey, what's the best thing about America? I don't know. That it's great again? Oh my god. <laughs> I had to make you cringe. I think the best thing about America is some of the natural wonders. Yeah, it's- And I don't just mean the official- Official national wonders. Why don't, why don't you try throwing one of those torches? Maybe they'd want that. Uh, maybe I'll do this. Okay. Anyway, I don't mean one of the- Like, the natural Damn, wonders of the world. I mean, like, just beautiful scenery. Can I just break this? Let's try that. No, you, you gotta nope. catch it on fire. Damn it. Uh, I don't know. I'll go with yours. The the Why the whole you, uh. We need to think independently. I just I can't think right now. I'm trying to figure out this puzzle. <clears throat> Can you move that block further over, like to get it closer to the stairs? There you oh, go. Oh, you just gotta throw it. That, that was pretty simple. I should have figured that out. If you had the skill to join the Olympics in any activity you wanted, what activity would you I don't you even know it? what they play at the Olympics. Pretty much everything. Uh, Alright, basketball, if that's one of them. Do they play- I don't even know if they play basketball at the Olympics. I think they do, I don't know. I would be a long-distance runner. Not that I'm, like, that good at that, but if- I'm saying if I had the skill to do it, that'd be cool. Long distance, run Running. around, do-do-do-do-do, long time. Waiting to feel the sound. Do 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 do. I still remember the dream. Oh, cool! Got it. I actually didn't have to murder that bird either, which is surprising. Also, got guys, you're welcome for like the super long part. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, maybe we should cut it here. What do you think? Sure. We're gonna probably have to. Oh wait, let me get this chest first. <coughs> Oh, I got a joy pendant. Oh, maybe if These you put... pendants are said to flock to those who spread joy, like butterflies to nectar-filled blossoms. Maybe if you put the, like, jelly that you got down, the rats would have given you something. Oh, maybe you're right. Maybe that... That would have been probably a good bait. But I wonder if there's, like, a specific bait. Mm -hmm. Uh, who knows? Blah, 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 blah. I have... I'm being weird. I feel really... I feel like being silly right now for some reason. What else is new? I get in these like silly moods, and then you have to put up with me. It's kind of funny. I'm a tolerant human. You are. You really are a tolerant. Hey, human. I get annoying too. So. You do not. You definitely do not get annoying. <clears throat> oh, I totally do. You don't get annoying as I am. Okay, so I know what I'm gonna do here. Throw it at the last minute. Does that warp you back to the beginning? That warps you back to the beginning. So we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna warp back here next time. And then time. we're gonna warp back here next time. Is there so gonna be a perfect. jar at the beginning? Yeah, there's there's a jar at the beginning. Excellent. Excellent. So okay, we just gotta remember for next time to jump in that jar. And until then, we will see you guys next time. Bye guys. Hey, thanks for asking me all those questions. Everybody got to know me more. We know that I'm gonna be a cookie, but we don't know which kind. If you have any other questions, put them in the comments and we'll address them. And we'll in the address next part. them later. Bye guys, we'll see you next time. Bye. Wait, hold on. Die! Try you blah 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 blah! blah, blah, blah. See you next time! I'd say peace, but violence, violence! At least for this part. Ah, bye guys. Peace.